Hi there, here I am again, and I want to do a video about my stampers. And I want to say that I'm just showing them today, but I will come back with another video because I plan to buy a organizer for my stampers, my stamping polishes, and my um, stamping plates. I hope, I'm hoping that the plates will fit also. But anyway, um, I have quite a selection of stampers. Um, not as um, many as some I've seen on YouTube, but um, I'm getting there. I've got a few still on order, and um, in fact, the um, big giant rectangular one that I'm seeing, I've ordered that one. But anyway, um, I just want to come and do a video about these. I have, this is the very famous Creative Shop Stamper right here. I have that one. And I have the Uber Chick. I also have the white one, but I'm just showing the the white head right here. I keep it in these little containers because they're so big, so I have to keep them in containers like this um, when I'm not using them. As you know, as you've seen in my previous video, I have the Conad and as you can let me see if I can do this where you can see it it's the original Conad and I also have a um, I guess what you call an imitation Conad um, I don't have the head in this one I didn't put it in but I have a whole lot of those stampers as you can see in this bag, I have my stampers and my scrapers in here. The ones that I don't really, you know, use. I really, I really don't care about this one. I just, this one, I just want to have it in my collection. It's the Salon Express. Stamper. To me, it's not worth two cents. But like I said, I just wanted to have it in my collection. This is the imitation Conad. I have some um, plates that I got from eBay. And some of them are cheaper plates. And the only stamper that will work with those plates is this stamper. Because it's got such a hard, the head is so firm on it. And this end, the smaller end right here is so I have these I also have um, these sponges that I have not used yet I've got these and as you can see I have a whole bag of this is another I got this in a set it's a Conad stamper I very seldom use this one though so that's why I keep it in the bag with all the stuff that I really don't use but right now, this stamper happens to be my favorite. As you saw in the previous video, it's a marshmallow. I love this stamper. I really do. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And, you know, this is the this is not the original Winstoni. I just ordered this one from eBay. But, you know, tomato, tomato. Um, you know, one has a name, you know, it looks the exact same. And so, therefore, I have that one. And I also ordered this one. That looks identical to this one, only it's purple. Like, well, lavender, would you say? Lavender? Yeah, lavender. And then I have these. Now, this is, these two are from Bundle Monster, but I ordered them off of Amazon. But this is the original head that came with this one. And this is the head that came with the other one. But I really don't use these two heads. I hate them. 
but I have um, some refills of the jelly heads so I use those most of the time this is just a separate order that I did and I got that one in and I also have ta -da, the famous clear jelly stamper I love it it works great this stamper um, mine came as you can see let me see if I can put it up where you can see it with a niche in the head right here so they were nice enough to send me two refill heads for it because it had the glitch in I sent them a picture of it and they sent me these two refill to replace it but right now I'm still going to use this one even with the little niche in it I'm going to keep using it until it just doesn't work for me and I also have the famous Fabu stamp, Fabu, Fabu nail stamper I love this stamper I really do this stamper is great it's just awesome I am crazy about this little cute stamper and also I'm like you know on this stamping kit right now I ordered this one I would love to have had it in silver but gold was the only one that I mean you know the copper or gold color copper color is the only one that I could get at the time so I just got this one it's a little different so I don't really use this most of the time what I'll do is I'll refill this with a squishy jelly head and this is what these little containers here you can get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree they're mainly for people use them for pills medicines and I keep my um, stamper heads Let's see if I can open it I keep my stamper heads in there and this is a jelly stamper head and so I keep all of my stamper heads when not in use I keep them in these and the bigger ones like the creative shop one I keep them in these little containers um, with the lid I think I bought these at Family Dollar you get about eight of them in a pack for a dollar and they come in different color lids and um, I also have see if I can oh okay that's already got the top off of it this is one of the square rectangular should I say ones and it's the jelly kind and it's really squishy and I love that I love jelly um heads and here's a few of the other ones this what are they these are silicone if you call them that and I also have hmm, this one I feel this with the jelly refill head it came with a white head and this is the more firmer side of it here and I just love like I said I love jelly and I also have now this one is hmm, filled which this one kind of popped out let me see if I can get it back on there well, um, got it on camera. but this one is the purple one and these are the actual heads that came in this one and it's similar to this one only like different colors but I like both of them but like I said I'm ordering an organizer so that I can organize my stampers and as you saw I like this one it's just that these heads keep popping out. I had to try to put something in there to keep it from popping out I really do like this one but if you um, until before I put something inside of it when you press down on this end to stamp this end would just pop out and I really like the oh the marshmallow texture of this one it's really nice so those are a few of my stampers 
And I just wanted to show you um, again some plates that came in. And now these have, I have put the backing as you can see, I've put backing on all of these plates because as I told you before, I like backing on my plates. And I'm just, that's just me. In fact, I just really um, recently, in fact today, I can figure out where exactly they went. There they go. I've got some different backing. And as I said, let me show you these. I'll show you this, should I say. Here is one that I purchased today from Dollar Tree. If you, I mean, around here, if you go to different Dollar Trees, you can have a different variety of these. And these are only a dollar. And you can use them. The other side is, you know, plain. But I use these for putting a backing on my stamper, um, my stamping plates. Because as I said, I like a backing on my plates. This one, I did put a back on that one. As you can see, there are some, and let me say this, there are some that, um, at Dollar Tree, that come with a, um, it's got a little cloth, you have to feel them. This one is, see? Some of them have cloth on the back of them. I don't know about those. I don't know how well they would glue to the back of a plate. But I try to pick the ones that have the same, the same, you know, back as the front. You know. And these are very easy to glue. I just use my, let me see, where's my glue? This is the glue that I use to glue on my back to my stamp stamping plates. You can get it at Walmart, comes four in a pack, they're like a dollar and sixty or seventy something cent. But yes, these are wonderful. It's like what I'm using right here. That's one of them. But you have to check the texture of the work, feel the back of it because they've got a lot of nice looking ones. But the backing, I don't think the cloth ones will work that well as far as gluing them. I'm not sure. You can try them and see. I mean, hey, it's only a dollar. So I just kind of wanted to come and do that video. Like I said, I'll be back to do another video. These are, I love Creative Shop and I love my Uber chick. I'll be back to do another video whenever the my giant rectangular um stampers come in and um i'll be doing some more swatches with plates and stuff like that all right hope you enjoy bye bye thanks for watching